Greetings YouTube, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view and today we're going to be going through my vacuum collection because I have about 70 some vacuums and a lot of people have asked a lot of questions of what I have uh, particularly our Patreon supporters so big thanks to our Patreon supporters that help make this channel happen so let's take you on a small tour of my vacuum collection again not the best footage I've ever shot but give you an idea of how much I really like vacuums. So I'm going to give you just a brief overlook of what's here. I have a Kenmore Blue Magic with a turbo nozzle. So that is here. I have a Magic Blue Mila, not to be confused with the other Magic Blue there. I have several 500 series Milas that don't have power heads and probably your missing parts inside need to be fixed as well. I have a Rainbow 2-speed E-Series. Um, no power head. No idea if it even runs. We'll take care of that. I've got a couple of Simplicity Champs. I actually really like these little machines. They're pretty strong. Um, I have two Mila White Pearls. Those need to be fixed up. Looks like I have a Red Star. Right here, it's a little light, so I'm guessing something's missing in there. I have a Dutch Tech of questionable origin with no power head. That's right there. I have this Bosch. This is quite the gem. I really look forward to fixing this up, but haven't gotten an opportunity to yet. Um, let's see what else is here. Oh, I've got a silver. Oh, no, it's a Cristal. I have a Cristal. <laughs> Cristal, like the champagne. Um, yeah. And if you've seen Boondocks, you don't understand why that's so funny. Can your vacuum do this? How about this? Probably not. That's why you're watching this video, because your vacuum isn't doing this. Well, if you're looking for a straightforward, easy to use and powerful vacuum cleaner, you should check out my video on the Zero G. It's one of the best values on the market. The Zero G is also very durable. It glides effortlessly, moving on a cushion of air. Check out my review in the card above. Got a few power heads here. I have a rug muncher. You've seen those two uh, EBK 340s. I also have some various Whirlpool nozzles that I will be doing something with at some point in the future. Just to give you a hint of what's to come and what's in the dishwasher right there. Hmm, wonder what that could be. And who could forget my basement Henry HVR160? Well, if you haven't guessed, we're late bloomers and we're doing our spring cleaning in uh, August. So these are some of the uprights I have. Let's see. I think this is probably the most interesting thing here. This is a Royal. Um, this was made like by Curtis uh, slash Bernina slash Esco kind of within conjunction of Royal to modernize their lineup. And it's basically a knockoff of like a Simplicity 7000 or a Recar 8000 series. So that's kind of cool. Um, other thing here, got a Eureka 4870. I'll fix that up one day and do a video on that. Uh, that was kind of a good machine for, you know, a $200 vacuum. I have a couple of really old Recars right here. These are super old. These have got to be late 80s, at least maybe early 80s. Um, comment if you know below so that's what those are those need to be fixed up i just love this hoover convert commercial i wish the chrome hadn't have worn off but hey what can you do it was free um got a hoover convertible that's probably nothing special but it's a it's a metal based convertible um oops i have a couple of discoveries I, um, one has a good brush motor, one has a good suction motor, something like that, if I remember right. 
Anyways, I was going to combine them and make one out of this. This is one of my favorite uprights. It's really just a wacky machine, really high tech, really love it. So that's what's here. Let's see, you got another Hoover wind tunnel because they come in every color, right? Um, and then behind the Hoover wind tunnel is the bagged version of the Kenmore. That came with the house actually. And I've been meaning to do a video. I have the bagless one in the garage. It's been sitting in the garage for a year. Um, this is not actually mine, but I am fixing it for a friend. It's a tandem air machine. And if you're not familiar with tandem air, go see one of my other videos on the Radiance. These are incredibly complicated and uh, we'll call them buggy. I have a pair of RSL fives as well. Those are actually mine. I've got the sand trap version and the, the bronze version. Um, I'm hoping I can make one vacuum again out of those. Haven't decided what. Um, oh, I still have this Romney uh, that's for sale. So, you know, we have that. Uh, the Eureka in the corner is not mine. So we're not gonna talk about it. And then my friend Reggie left this damn thing here uh, six months ago. And I hope it doesn't end up like the last vacuum he left here. He actually has a vacuum that's been here for like three years in pieces. And I bet you thought that was all the vacuums I owned. Haha, <laughs> you'd be wrong. You'd be so, so, so wrong. Um, yeah, kind of have the vacuum room here. Yeah, so we have all those. Uh, let's, uh, if you don't mind seeing my sandals, I only wear them in the house, but let's see. Uh, this Hoover convertible was uh, another collector who passed away, David Waters, and it went to my friend Reggie, and I came in to do a video on it. There's not really a whole lot of people are interested in a Hoover convertible, unfortunately. Um, let's just walk over here and turn a little, the rest of the lighting on in here. Um, you've seen my Royal. There were several videos on that. So, yes, we've seen... My sanitary, you've seen that, that's, that's cool. Uh, I don't think anybody, unless they really went through my back catalog, has ever seen this Hoover. I do have an early video on it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this was being thrown away at my work one day, this Bojack Hoover. And I uh, decided to rescue it, spray paint it, and clean it. To just kind of demonstrate that it was good and just kind of took it home. And I uh, gave it to one of my wife's friends for a while while she was in college. And she used this for three or four years. Uh, works just fine. You can get HEPA bags for them. So there's that convertible. It's probably not technically convertible. Oh, I have my Eureka. My matching Eureka to my matching Hoover. So we got those. So that's kind of cool. You've seen the Heritage too. You've seen the wind tunnel that's back here. You have not seen my metal base Eureka. That's that's an, that's a gem. Um, oh, you guys have seen this guy. Really, still one of my favorite vacuum cleaners of all time. So let's. The problem with collecting vacuum cleaners is they take up a lot of room. You know. If you collect, I don't know, tomb tombs or guns or something, you could fit a lot more in this room than you could vacuum cleaners. However, vacuum cleaners take up less room than if you were to collect, say, motorcycles or cars. So I guess there's a flip side of that. I did an early, early video on this. Uh, this came from Albuquerque and ended up here in Denver. Nothing to do with me, and I found it in Anderson's basement. And uh, I kind of just... It's a long story, and actually, I fixed it up for a, a co-worker of mine, then when he moved, he just kind of gave it to me, so I've kind of just had it ever since, and then uh, when I started to date my wife, I let her use this, so that, that's, that's something. Um, why don't we bring the camera in here now? Right, let's see uh, what's in here. This is an Electro Pure, and this was something that was sold through vacuum wholesale distributors back in the day. It's got a Filter Queen style nozzle on it, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's actually made by Philips. 
uh, it's very similar to the Dutch Tech in a lot of ways, but it's uh, it's one of those machines. It's got this stupid long hose. I love canisters with long hoses. Uh, that kind of looks like it should be like a Hoover or something, but it's not. <laughs> Anyways, so this one again, Reggie left here. Uh, so, and another collector really wants it. And we keep joking that I'm just going to give it to the other collector. <laughs> um, so he's been here. You saw him randomly in my turbo video because uh, I could turn the suction power down. I needed the example of something old school. So I use this, though it's not, it's actually not underpowered. Um, you've seen my XL21, my loner XL21. You've seen my fresh era. Um, and then back in the corner over here is the, uh, what the hell is that thing called? Uh, it's that Hoover uh, rollaway knockoff. This Electrolux was probably one of the first ones I actually bought actively after I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'll just start collecting vacuums. I rather like them. Um, so that's one of them. Then the next one I bought a little bit before at about the same time was this Hoover uh, Constellation. Really like that. And then the Celebritard up there I bought as well. And then the next... The Celebritard, I'll get, that's a good story. I'll tell that real quick. I uh, sold the lady a brand new Mila. Um, and then like two weeks later, I see this on Craigslist, so I go to pick it up. And she's like, hey, you sold me my vacuum. I'm like, uh, yeah, I did. Okay, here's 20 bucks. Boom. Um, yeah. Now the Lewitt, this lady, I had sold her a vacuum as well. But it was, it had been like her aunt who was like her mother or something. Some really close family member had died and she had no use for it. It wasn't, uh, you know, it's not something you could really use. You can't find bags or parts and it's particularly underpowered. It's a Lewitt. Um, so she, uh, she actually sold it to me, but she was really sad about it. You could tell that she was really moaning the loss of her family member. So, um, I'm not saying I feel bad about that one, but that lady was just very sad. Uh, I hope she's gotten over whatever that was, but that was, you know, 12 years ago. Who knows? I haven't kept touch. Um, the TriStar next to it was just left one day by somebody who knew I was a vacuum collector at one of the places I worked in Albuquerque. So I have the flower power. I really like that. Um, this one was my sister's next to it. That... Uh, I, she moved to Mexico and for some reason decided that that, that was like the thing she wanted to get rid of. Um, she's moving to an all apartment. Anyway, she still doesn't really have a good working vacuum now. And I keep, she comes into the country every few months. I keep telling her like, next time you're in the country, let me know. I will send you a machine. Just, just let me know. Um, things we do for family. And then the, uh, let's go pull the orc out. <laughs> Because I did a Patreon-only video on this, and that's all I've done with the Iron Man. And then, of course, we have the Zero G in the corner. Uh, brief note on Zero G: I'm gonna start doing some ads for Ed on Zero Gs on certain repair videos, so you'll start seeing those um, in the next uh, couple of weeks. And what those those are are just, hey, check out my Zero G review and. If somebody decides to buy a zero G Ed is going to help out the channel. So you're going to see a couple of those or paid promotions. No, I haven't sold my soul to zero G. Um, and I reviewed it before any talk of money was ever, uh, talked about with Ed. So that's just something that's going on there. Let's, uh, move the tripod again. Oh boy. Um, so some of you might be familiar with aunt Sylvia in the, uh, the Cebo X4 video, uh, review I did. Uh, Aunt Sylvia is responsible for the art, and Aunt Sylvia left this with my friend Reggie. He didn't want it. Reggie gave it to me. I, of course, really wanted it. I like Electrolux a whole lot. I don't do a whole lot of videos on them because they're just not relative, but I really do like them. And then, of course, you've seen my Cebo C3.1 uh, first generation. I, I really like this machine a whole lot. I kind of want to pull that down and run it now that I have the right power nozzle to run it. Hmm. Boy, would my wife hate me for that. She told me today I had too many vacuums and I need to stop taking vacuums in. Um, and then above that, we have uh, the TriStar Powerhead. And then 
below I have some of the power heads and uh, some tools and some some belts and bags and stuff like that. I put everything back in the closet. Let's see what else I have. Oh yes, there's more. So we have a Kenmore that I'm holding on to a for a friend. I have this Hoover um, concept one that I'll eventually put back together, but it needs some parts. I have a Lux 2100, which desperately needs some internal switch stuff. I will eventually fix that up one day. I have some spare Milo parts and some hoses, some wands. Uh, and there's my Classic 3, just laying on its side and chilling for now. Don't worry, the handle is broken. And then I have an auxiliary um, Heritage 2. Then next to that, uh, I have the Milo Capricorn. The reason it's sitting in the corner of shame is this is the original green carpet that came with the house. It's just like what we used to have at the Oryx stores. Mmm, 90s. Uh, so that green carpet uh, needed to be vacuumed earlier when I was moving some stuff around as well. And then I also have a small uh, air gun range down here. And you can see my MD box is very shot up. But that 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 has kind of ceased. Now that I have this stuff down here, I'll either need to put a box. The Capricorn's definitely going to get moved uh, as soon as I'm done making this video. Don't worry. But I'll probably put a box or something just to protect from ricochets. You'll also notice some of my central vacuum piping also has just a little bit of cushion as well. I don't shoot high-powered air guns down here. We shoot CO2 stuff as well. Um, just another kind of cool thing is my air compressor sits in this room as well for my shop. That way when it goes on, it's not loud. And then you'll see there's some central vacuum piping right there. That's where my central vacuum is actually exhausted to. And again, it's hard to see at this angle, but there's actually a vent on this wall. So that's why it's exhausted. And then the pipe above it is the Hide Hose Raceway. There's one more. There's the Bissell that identifies as a Rug Doctor. If you haven't seen my video on that, I'd suggest you go check it out. So the sanitary is not mine, but there is the bagless. Um, Get more that I've been teasing forever. And then also sitting here, completely missing any parts to make this usable is this Electrolux stick vacuum, which is a shame because I really like the concept of this. It's quite heavy. And last but certainly not least, my most recent acquisition, this Kirby G3 uh, that I fully restored. There'll be some videos coming up on that. Definitely check those out. And if you're in the future watching this, I will link them below uh, if you're watching this a few weeks after this video. So thanks so much, folks, for watching this little tour of my collection. Again, not the best footage. I was in the process of reorganizing our basement, so if things look a little cluttered. They were, we, again, we were just reorganizing, so I shot that footage on the side. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Big thank you to our Patreons.